Hello everyone and welcome to Still Wakes the Deep. It is a new game, it's a new horror game. Uh, like there's, I guess there's monsters and stuff. You're on this oil rig in the middle of the North Atlantic Ocean? Pacific Ocean? I can't remember where we are. <laughs> we're, we're s surrounded by water. Stuck on an oil rig, nothing else around us except for like a monster thing, I guess. And, um, it's. I heard it was somewhat like. Uh, the old Outlast games. Like, you can't fight, you just run and hide and stuff like that. So, we're gonna see how that goes. We're just gonna get right into it. <sighs> I think that's a good idea. Show me hints, please. I still can't believe you went. What are you thinking? Going to that place. Wish you hadn't got yourself into this mess, but you did. And you can't run forever. I know you were just trying to do right by me, so I need you to do what's right by us now. Please, Kaz. I am so tired of fighting. I just want it to be over. I want you home. The girls want you home, but... If you don't deal with this, then we are done for good. I love you. But I won't wait forever. Sus. Jesus, Sus. Girls need your Christmas card. <laughs> oh, fuck. Merry fucking Christmas. Kaz, Roy's finishing up breakfast if you want something. I'll, I'll be there in a minute, Trots. Right, well, don't you wait too long or someone will be up with you. Aye. Yeah, all right. All right, right back into it, I guess. What was that? Examine. Uh, Is this the Christmas card? Card. I guess that's it. Try to look around a little bit more. Yep. All right. We can use the radio. Yeah, listen to music, I guess. Showers. I am the hearer. I am the hearer. I am the hearer. Okay. I thought I heard something. Ignore me. Hello? Alright, Cavs! Oh. I'm alright. What are you doing up there? Pipes leaking. If it's not one thing, it's the other. See this old rig? It's a pile of shite. It's falling apart. I hope it's not too dark filling. for you guys. Fucking Cadal. And fucking Rennick. Cutting corners. Aye. Speaking of, you are in the shite, wee man. Rennick got a letter this morning from the mainland and he's been up to high dough ever since. Heard he's gunning for you. Well, that's just brilliant. Christ, I need a smoke. Can I find my lighter anywhere? Take mine. I don't need it anymore, honestly. You're a fucking lifesaver. I'm going to get breakfast. All right. I'll see you for darts tonight. And we'll put a wee picture of Rennick up on the board for you. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. See ya. Okay. Uh, sorry if it is dark for you guys. Okay. <laughs> My phone just went off after I did that. Oh, that's hilarious. Do I go this way? Or do I go this way? Um, I would think I would go this way, right? Press to show objective. Find the stairs down to the canteen, so the canteen is down. How far down? 
Well, there's boxes here, and you know how you can't get past boxes. So I'm guessing this is- oh, look, the canteen. I knew exactly where I was going. Apparently. You alright, Roy? Cars, mill, mucker. I do. Sweet sound of Davy Rennick. You think it's the polis? Can't be surprised, Kaz. You hear from Suze? She's talking about divorce. Oh, I'm sorry, Kaz. She'll come around. Not if I get to jail, she won't. Well, maybe you could have considered that while you were battering Billy Chamberlain's head in. Cunt slagged off Suze. He had it coming. And there he is. Floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee, and swears like the devil himself. Listen, mate. Even if it is the polis, maybe it's best to just go back and face it. Yeah? Fuck, I don't know, Roy. I'm fucking scun up with the whole thing. The Lord loves you, mate, no matter what. And I'm pretty sure Sue's does too. That's all clear for you now, Roy. Lovely job, thanks, Dobby. Oh, Trot says he's left your insulin in your cabin. Oh, bless his little communist socks. Muchly appreciated. Ta. Remember, life is like football. It's not over. Until the final whistle. Aye. You're a Barnsley fan, so you're pretty much fucked from the off, right? Oh, I will see you hand for that, McCleary. Not off you trot, lad, before his nibs blows a gasket. Also, it's storming from where I am right now, not just in the game. So if you hear thunder, it's probably not just in the game. And my dogs will freak out, you know. No bad, Kaz. Raf's here's a bit shaky, though. Gonna be the lad's first solo dive this morning. Is that right? Ah, you'll be all right, pal. Especially with the big man here looking out for you. Have you done it before? Christ, no. I'll stick to the lecky, thanks. No great in tight spaces, and it's blowing a gale out there. Really filling the lad with confidence there, Cass. Ah, sorry, wee man. Don't worry about it. Brody's got you. Okay, so I can talk to some of these people. I guess I'm just totally ignoring the guy that was like, come to see me now. Don't take your time. I'm Enjoying taking my time. Day, McCleary. What's that supposed to mean? You've been a naughty boy, from what I've heard. Ah, give us peace. You're not exactly an angel yourself, I dare. I'll be fine. Well, you'll not be missed. You wouldn't know a day's graft if it slapped you in the face. <laughs> I'd like to see you try and do my job. You wouldn't know a spark plug from a fucking hairdryer. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 Made a pretty good joke there, I guess. I don't know. Alright, so should I go see, uh... Oh, no. There's a bubble here. Look, there's no escaping. There's gonna be a dozen mayor rigs up here by the end of next year because the pricks in Westminster want their grubby wee hands on Scotland's oh, oil. Christ, none of this again. The bear is already down to the bare bones. And Cadal are just going to make more cuts to get other rigs on the go. If we don't take industrial action soon, this place... Oh, come on! If we don't take industrial action soon, this place will be even more of a death trap than it already is. He's got a point, though, Gibble. We're down to a skeleton crew in the pontoons, and it's ropey as fuck down there. Workers of the world unite! What do you think, Kaz? <sighs> I don't know. Just here it fix the lecky. <laughs> What do you think will be keeping the lights on if this place falls apart? That's coal, you numpty. <laughs> <laughs> numpty. Okay. What is this Christmas Day menu? Man, I hope there's some leftovers. Hmm. All right. What is over here? Hello? Seems like a pro to pool tournament thing. Who leaves the fridge open? Close the fridge. Or freezer. Whatever. Alright. That was worth it. Is closed. Can I run? Oh, I can. 
No offense, but I run kind of weird here. Home sweet home. All right. I'm guessing I have to go out that door because that's the only door that's different. Yes? The answer to that question was a yes. Should I... I'm going out there. I don't think I have any of this stuff, right? Uh, all right. Oh, I guess I do. I just needed to open the door. I feel like if you go on an oil rig, you need to have the proper safety gear. Do I go that way? No. Oh, there's someone right here. What you doing? It's all right to get by, pal. It's all right. You have to go around, cards. All right, going around. Okay. What happens if I let go? Oh! I just slide down or I fall, I can't tell. Hmm. Hello, people. this oh, okay need a hand there fellas McCleary. no I can scale in this hero by myself <laughs> no we're all right cheers though fair enough you want to transfer here McCleary you give me less lip no he loves it McCleary my office I don't make me ask again in a better mood today, is he? You'll be all right, Kaz. You get used to it. We all get tough. Try not to punch him. Ah, <laughs> no promises. It sounds like a lot of people don't like these. The boss man. So we'll go this way. This one's all yours. Hey Roper, what's the problem? Don't usually see you down here. Ah, trolls acting up this morning. Got the crew running around like blue ass flies, but they kinda make head or tail of it. Is that you's behind schedule then? Oh, no, not yet. And uh, not if the gods are smiling on us. So mere fuck than ever. Poor as fucked as you by the sounds of it. Look, you better get up there. The boss man sounds raging. Yep, yeah. he does. Two, three weeks before the ship like. I can patch it, but we'll need to keep an eye. Maybe say a prayer and all. Could you imagine working on a uh at a place like this? I can't. Everything has to be nice and tight, nice and steady. Do I go up? Hmm. Scooby, give me a heart attack. Scooby-Doo! Can I ask a wee favour? Whether you need Scoob. Oh, could you do me a quick fix on the crew lift fuse box while you're down there? I need bother. Oh, you're a lifesaver, mate. And don't let the big man get you down, all right? Thanks, pal. Thanks for throwing a screwdriver at me. Glad I'm... Glad I do have a helmet on. Social butterfly. Turn it off.
Is that what you do? Is that how you do it? Uh, can I go in here? Nope. Oh, my dog's grumbling. Ruby! I mean, I was in the Navy, but... The elevator is slow! Give me a moment! Anyway, I was in the Navy. <laughs> and I would not say that to anyone higher up of me. Actually, anyone. Period. When I was in the Navy. I don't want to die. Are you crazy? I want to die. But you know what I mean. I would get in so much trouble. Uh, I'm guessing that's where I have to go. But I was in the Navy. And... But I was never on a ship. But I imagine that on a ship everything needs to be tight and formal formulated and working well and this they keep calling this a death trap and it's yeah uh, let's go let's talk to the boss man yep ah master mcquery so glad you could join me and sorry to have got you out of bed shut the door and have a seat no, I'm fine, Stan. Sit your ass in that chair, you fucking liability. But I don't... I run a tight ship. Do you understand me? A tight ship. Technically, it's not a ship. Shut your gub, you Ned prick! I am sick, sick to fucking bookin' of you wee gobshites messing with my operation. That chef might be a mate of yours, but he does not run things around here. I do. Do you understand me? All right, why don't you just get on with it? Don't you answer me back! You must die a shite on shore, McQuarrie. But out here, I am the fucking king. Do you understand me? You bring the police to my door, to my rig. Uh, look, I, I can sort this, right? I just need time. Shut it, you clatty gobshite. I never thought here's a man who can make a more positive contribution to this operation than you. Look, I know Shut you. it! I'm in a meeting. What? Look, sake, Gibble, I don't care. We're on a schedule. It's a fucking drill. You've got a fucking drill, so drill through it. Yeah, well, Roper's a whiny old fud. He's got a problem with everything. I don't care if it feels half. Just fucking do it! Or I'll come down there myself! Is that uh, trouble with the missus? You're fired. You hear me? Fired. Come on, man. It's only a wee bit of trouble with the polis. I'm good with the lecky. I keep things running. You said it yourself. Ouch! Get off my rig! Aye. Happy New Year to you too, you cunt. Is that the way things work? Because one... We went in that totally rude. Don't you answer me back. Wouldn't it, shouldn't it be don't talk back to me? Why did I try to say that with, I don't know why I tried to say that, say, say it with an accent. I did not work at all. I can't do accents. But how does that make, I don't know. The, uh, hmm. But I feel like something bad's gonna happen. He was not at all caring about what was happening on his rig with the drill. Well, and I think that's when something goes bad. For you guys. I can hear that v motorcycle? Vehicle? Outside of my house with my headphones on. That's hilarious. Most people who feel like they're about to get fired by their boss when it talk back to him like that try to be hilarious by going, Oh, you're having fights with the missus. Again, I can't do accents. I don't know why I keep trying. Woohoo! Yep. Jesus, Gregor. Gregor! I had a feeling it was going to happen around now. Don't let me die, please! I don't want to die! I don't want to 
gonna die! Jesus, just hang on! Fuck! 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 Fuck. Christ, but you're a right pair. Two bars and a ball bag. Now listen, Pat. I promise I'll take care of him. I had a word with our Kieran. You remember him? He knows Billy Chamberlain from way back. Owes me a favor. Reckons he can sweeten Billy up a bit. Come on. Have I ever let you down? Roy, you lost the cake at the wedding. N now then, now then. That, that wasn't my fault. You left it on a bench at Argyle Street. Aye, you were that fluted you didn't even remember baking the cunt. Oh, my children, that was before the light of the Lord came to me. Here we fucking go. Uh, and you, Mr. McCleary, you can fuss and cuss all you like. But perhaps if you went to the Saracens a little less and the Tabernacle a little more, then perhaps you'd not be in this pickle, eh? Don't, don't look at me. You're the one who decided to spend the next four months trapped on our egg with this bampot. Susan, I promise you, I promise you, we will get this straightened out. I will. You'd better. Christ! He's got gold! Shit! Guys! Get his leg! We can't leave him out here! Move! Fuck! Guys! I think he's dead! We've got you, man, alright? We've got you! He's breathing, thank Christ! Kaz? Wake up, Kaz! Why is he not waking up? Can you hear me? Is he gonna die, Brody? <coughs> Kaz? <coughs> Okay. A lot of things happened there that I was not expecting. I was expecting something bad to happen after I got fired, because obviously I just got fired and something bad happens on this rig. It's the whole point of the game. So I expected something bad to happen. Not seeing someone fall down. I didn't even see them fall in the first place, and then all of a sudden he was running to go help someone, and I was like, who are you helping? And then I figured it out. I thought he was yelling at the guy that was next to the helicopter, but no. And then I fall, and then I have a flashback? A lot of things happened. I was not sure what happened, and I am very confused. I'm still confused. What's going on? Hello? Do I still have up my hard hat hat on too? I'm sorry. I need your help here. What? What's happening? What? Okay. Things are falling apart. Thank Christ! You're right being up on your feet. My heat's killing me, but Christ. Aye, aye, I think so. You got me out. Did you get Gregor? I got you, aye. I couldn't find Gregor. Fuck. I'm sorry, Cass. Oh, Jesus. He's not the only one we lost. No, no, no. Rass is still in there. Why aren't these working? Cass, I need you to help me. Cas! What? Right, aye, what, what do you need? The cable's stuck. Go down and release the main brake, then come back up and raise the bell. If you can get it to my level, I think I can get him out. Aye. Rass, it's all right, we're getting you out. It'll be two minutes, pal. Something's happening in there that does not sound right. I'm also wondering now... If this is gonna be kind of like the Man of Medan situation where it's all in my head about what's happening because, um. Uh, right. Meh. But it's all in my head because I did. An explosion did happen and I hit my head. But. Oh god.
Is it gonna be that kind of situation, or is this actually gonna be something that's bad? I don't know. What's going on, Brody? What happened? Don't know. The drill hit something. An air pocket or gas explosion, nobody knows. But whatever it was, it was big. You were lucky, trust me. Douglas is trying to find out more. Like if the bear is even safe now. What's wrong with Raps? I don't know, all right? Decompression shouldn't be this bad. Oh, I shouldn't have let him go down there. I said I'd look after him. I'm here, Raps. It's Brody. I'm going to get you out. It sounds like he's fighting is there something. There's anything there I can do. No, I'll get him. We need to know what's going on up top. You'll need to go through engineering. The way up is blocked from here. Where's engineering for here? I've never been doing this end before. The only way you'll get there is to go under the rig. Should be a clearer path down there. All right, I'll head down now. It really does sound like he's fighting something right now and I don't like that. Apparently I can... doors will not open through me. That's cool. Am I going this way? I feel like I'm gonna get lost very easily. I am here. I need to get to... engineering. Okay, so I do go that way. Right? Right. Jump! <gasps> I'm sorry, I hit the thing and I thought it bounced me away. Because I saw it moving. Run and jump farther. Engineering access. I was gonna say, I'm not jumping that. Oh, I did not mean to jump that far. Fuck. Whoa. I don't know why that's beautiful, but that's beautiful. It's not beautiful. It's not beautiful. I'm just in there. That's beautiful. Okay, I can break locks. Good. Oh! No! This game, VR, would... I'm sorry. Why is this the first game where you get to crawl on the beam instead of walking on it? Like a smart pe person? Crawl on the fucking beam. Ooh! Instead of walking on it and trying to be a fucking gymnast, we are not that. <laughs> I'm okay. I am not going to where I was supposed to be going. What is my... I guess I can't technically, but still. Close. Ready, tidy, lefty, Lucy. It's so, it's creepy as, but it's beautiful. That's not fair. 
Oh, another thing to do. Ha! Huh. Shite! Fucking see again. This time, no one's going to save us. Look at that. Kissing going down. Oh, I have to jump for the ladder? This in VR would kill me. One moment. Oh, no, no! I had to push a button! I thought it would be one of those games. Will you just jump over? And automatically gl grab the thing. Apparently, that's not what it is. Jump, grab, and don't let go. Ah! Ruby, stop. I love you so much. Oh, okay. It's raining outside. My dogs are freaking out a little bit. As you can hear, my new dog. She likes to grumble. The playground, um, you really need to be. I haven't done that in a long time. What are those called? I can't remember. I am. What is wrong with me? Do I go down? Oh, over here. What am I doing? I'm guessing I'm coming over here. I don't know. Make a guess and stick to it, I guess. Oh, look. I can go inside. Engineering! Look at that. I went the right way. Sorry for a moment there. I had no idea what the hell I was saying. You probably didn't even know what the heck I was saying. It's fine. Is this too dark for you? Because it's really dark for me and I don't know why. Hello? What is that? Hello? Wasn't he just here? Oh my crazy. Didn't he, didn't he just come in here? seeing what's going on it is dangerous everywhere I'm gonna just slide down look at that look you see that oh my god it's dark over there I'm not going that way I don't even think I'm supposed to go that way I think I'm going this way oh my god This is a dangerous place to be. I'm sorry. Am I going this way? I think I'm going this way. Seriously, where did that guy go? Did he just... He was just here. You are an engineering. And you're right there. Don't you see that red X? That's where you are. I don't know where we're supposed to go. Excuse me. Finally, something useful. Oh, look at that! I got a flashlight. And I still have my helmet on. Look at that! That is amazing. That is hilarious. Okay. It must be really dark for you guys, cause that this is almost pitch black without this light. 
I can't see anything. <gasps> that was so cool. And I thought I saw something in that water for a moment there. <laughs> when I turned off the light, it like, I don't know how to describe it to you. Have you ever turned on a light in the dark and then turned it off and it slowly, your eyesight slowly starts to fade away? I feel like that should be opposite. Like, the less you have the light on, the more your oh. eyes adjust to... Adjust to the darkness. Sorry. Hello? Anybody? Sorry. What is that? Hello? My phone dinged at the same time of that as that jump scare, and I did not like that. I'm going into the darkness. Towards the scary sounds. I guess I don't really have a choice of where I'm going, but... Towards the scary sounds. What if I turn this off? I keep hearing voices. Grumbling. What? It's always going the right way. Can I put that back on? It won't stop the monster, but it will make me feel good. I know there's a monster following me. I know it. I know it. It is behind me. Jesus. It is out there. There is a monster. It is right behind this door. Oh no, it's behind that door. Why are there so many doors? Why is it doing this to me? Oh my god, this is like at last just the tension before the seen a ghost. Who's making that noise? Gibble. He's making that racket. Should we no find him? Help him? No. I didn't recommend that. What does that mean? It means he's no alright. After that explosion, he got oil or some shit on him and just... I don't know. He freaked out. Went for me. He's still out there. You mean out here? As in out here with me? Aye. That's exactly what I mean. Oh, that's just fucking brilliant. Have you seen anyone else? I just got here. Where are you going anyway? Back to accommodation. Listen, you'll have to get through the water tanks to get up to accommodation. And quiet like. Go all the way up there. Jesus. And what about Gibble? Stay the fuck away from me. You're listening to me. It's no right, cuz. I'm no arguing. Cuz. Be fucking careful, eh? Aye. You know. So you're gonna be trapped in here? Because a body can throw themselves through this gate. It's not going to keep you safe. I just want to say that. I well, I am a small woman, so maybe you'll be fine. I don't know. What I do know is I have no more time. This game has just started and I have no more time to continue it. It just started getting scary. Whew, Outlast kind of hits you pretty fast and not so much build up. I feel I haven't really played any amnesia games, but I've heard that they are the masters of building up tension. The only one that really built up tension for me was Outlast because they built it up.
you started getting tense because you could hear all these sounds and you saw all these people running around and they were like, oh, is it just crazy people or ghosts that I'm messing with because you don't know what's going on? As always, I hope you all have a great day and a fantastic week. I'm so scared I'm rambling.